And there she goes. Okay, everybody, it is, oops, it's 8.02, sorry about that. We'll try and get started on time. But um, my name is Harlequin Murray, and I am a fellow David Allen Capital agent, just like you guys are. And it is my distinct honor and pleasure I get to introduce our speaker and our team leader for our team, um, Miss Ellen Wynn. And for those of you who are new, because I know we've got a ton of new people that have joined us in the last month or two, um, and if you haven't been on the call before, welcome. But just to give you a little bit of background about Ellen, um, she actually grew up on her family's farm in, the, in Dallas, Georgia, which is just outside of Atlanta. She spent over 25 years in the restaurant industry. And her last eight and a half years in the corporate world was spent in upper management with Domino's Pizza as a training director and senior operations director in the, for the state of Georgia. Back in 1997, she left Domino's and started her own brand of restaurants. And she's been a business owner ever since. Um, she was introduced to network marketing back in 2002. And over the years, she's built massive teams and helped thousands of people along the way. Now, I met her back in 2005 and she was a national training director for a network marketing company. And she was a partner in a huge training center here in Atlanta. But Ellen absolutely mm -hmm. loves training and helping people. But Ellen is an area director with David Allen Capital in our comp plan there. And she's also a one-star executive in our residual pay plan with Longevity. And she has helped our team become one of the fastest growing and largest producing teams in DAC. And um, you guys just don't realize how blessed and honored we are to have her as our team leader, because I know every single one of you should have received a text message and an email from her when you first joined. And she does that for everybody. And lately there have been days when we've had over a hundred people joining the our team and she's yeah you know, every day and she's been having to do that so without further ado let me introduce miss ellen Wynn, and take it away miss ellen hey thank you harlequin i appreciate it glad to see all you guys on here tonight um i couldn't do this without you each and every week harlequin she's been doing this as co-host since i committed and started doing these weekly team zoom so glad that you're here if you're catching us on the replay Thanks for taking time out and making that commitment to yourself and to your DAC business. As Harlequin said, I'm an independent agent, so I'm not on the payroll. I'm here on the same compensation plan that you guys are. I've just been here longer and have been working my way through that uh, to area director. And if you understand the compensation plan through the training videos in the Agent Resource Center, then you understand that you can get to DAC4 on your own efforts, but to get to area director and beyond, you have to have a team and your team has to be producing to be able to do that. So I certainly did not get to area director on my own. Yes, I laid the platform and I've put systems in place to help each and every one of you, but it's through your efforts and your success that helps me rise through the compensation plan and be successful as well. So I appreciate you all for your time and attention tonight. Uh, we've got a good call lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and do like I normally do, which is put us into screen share and get us started off with our team recognition. And Harlequin, if you can give me a thumbs up that you see the screen, awesome, thank you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get through our top producers. now. Um, there's been some question on this. They're like, Ellen, you always talk about the recruiting and you don't talk about who is getting fundings. Well, we're going to do, uh, I've got a guest on tonight that you're really going to be excited to hear from, but I bring on the recruiting numbers because that's something that I can really measure. I can see everyone that is recruiting uh, uh, in real time, I can log into my back office at any point in the day and see that person that just signed up and joined the team five minutes ago. But when it comes to funding and our other uh, products, 
I don't have real time access to that. In fact, a lot of times I don't even see that until a weekly commission run comes out and I see some of the fundings that have taken place over the week. Yes, they update volume on a daily basis in most cases, but uh, it doesn't show up regularly. So uh, a true measure to me is people that are having conversations and getting the word out. I know if you're on the leaderboard as a recruiter, you're having to have success and having people to say yes, but hey, this is a real easy business to recruit to, right? It's free. There's no entry to bear or barrier to entry, and there's no risk whatsoever. So if you're having conversations with the right people, uh, hopefully you've got someone that's willing to take a look and say yes. On the other hand, with funding, you might have to talk to um, 50 people to get five people to fill out an application. And out of those five, you may not have someone that actually qualifies. So I don't want to just recognize those of you that are getting fundings until we have a uh, system to where I can actually see who is getting people through the process uh, and getting them to apply. Then I think that's the true measure of being able to do recognition. So we'll stick to the team recognition for recruiting right now. We've got some big numbers again, as we have over the past few weeks. Uh, number one in first place again for like the fifth or sixth week in a row, maybe more. We have Katina Willis. Uh, she had 71 new recruits, and this is for the week of 120 through 126. Okay, Katina had 71. If you were on and saw last week's Zoom, she had over 200 last week, and the week before that, she had over 700. All of this coming from her social media activity and promoting to her fellow uh, followers in the real estate space, right? In second place, we had Eric Johnson. He had 11 new recruits for the week. Congratulations first to Katina and second to Eric. In third place, we had a two-way tie. We had Chris Hill and Celeste Peterson. Each had 10 new agent recruits for the week. In fourth place, we had a two-way tie between myself and Eugene Clapp. Each of us had six new recruits each. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a three-way tie. And Stephen Witherspoon also tied in fourth place with six new recruits. And Stephen is highlighted in green because this is Stephen's first week at recruiting anyone. And he ended up with six new recruits for the week. So great job, Stephen. Uh, Clayton Matlock Sr. came in in fifth place with five new recruits. And this is Clayton's first run at recruiting. So great job getting out the gate there with five new recruits for the week. And let me see, I just minimized my screen and I can't see it. Let me adjust here for a minute. What did I do? Well, let me go back. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, that interrupted my flow here. Hang on, I'm gonna stop share. Go back to the beginning. <laughs> Regain control of my computer. Give me one second. Gotta love live, right? All right, go back to screen share. And it may take me a minute. Let me find that, that slide. So sorry, guys. I think that's what I did. I think I actually closed out the slide in the process there. I did. Pulling that slide back up. It's slow to open, but I'll be right back with it in just a second. There we go. Back to the right slide, it's loading. All right, we are back. Back to screen share. There we go. All right, Harlequin, back up on the slideshow. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Gotta love live, right? 
Okay, so I was down to the four way tie. One, two, three, four. Stephen Witherspoon was in fourth place with six new recruits. And then I have Clayton Matlock Sr. had five new recruits. Congratulations, Clayton. This was his first run at recruiting whatsoever and hit the leaderboard with five new recruits. In sixth place, we had one, two, three, four, five-way tie with four new agent recruits each. We had Kiki Blofsky. This is Kiki's first week of recruiting new agents. Congratulations, Kiki. Cynthia Darden had four. John Nevada, Dominique Sams, and L. Smith each had four new recruits. Congratulations to you guys. In seventh place, we had a three-way tie, each with three new agents. That's Peggy Evans, Maria Garcia. This is Maria's first run at recruiting with three new recruits for the week. Demetria Reed McNeil also had three. Congratulations. And then we have Kelly Burris, uh, first run at recruiting with two new agents. And these are all in eighth place with three, six, seven way tie. Uh, Kenshawn Gibson, two new recruits. Seda Gomez, two new recruits. Cheryl Henderson, two new recruits. Uh, Denitra Jackson, first run at recruiting with two new recruits. Congratulations, Denitra. Zach Lesher, two new recruits. And Gina Robinson with two new recruits there um, for the first week running. So congratulations to you as well. All right. And with one new recruit each, we have a whole slew of folks on this screen, and that is, and a lot of people that are getting their first new recruit ever, which is really exciting because when I see new people getting started and recruiting new people, it's exciting because I'm, I see that you have that belief and faith that DAC is the real deal. So I love seeing these first time recruits. Uh, we have Isaiah Adams, Dwight Andrews, Troy Arias. And again, if, if the name is in green, this is the first time they've recruited anybody at all. I'm just going to go through the list because it is so long. Uh, Richard Bentley, Ashley Brothers, Bruce Campbell, Kareem Campbell, Kendra Chapman, Brittany Chapman, Marcia Clapp, Carol Clark, Delvon Combo, Teresita Copeland, Aquavius Daniels, Reginald Dansby, Kendra Douglas, Sean Dreffs, Tiffany Edmond, Megan Erdman, Dr. Valerie Fletcher, Neil Fugate, Craig Gilly, Darren Green, Melvin Green, Quentin Eidelberg, Rohana Jenkins, Cindy Johnson, Julius Jones, Andre Kirk, Giovanni Martinez, Kevin McIver, Artisha Moore, Sherwana Morton, Ramiro Reyna, Desmond Reynolds, David Rivera, William Rivers, Linda Smalls Spence, Amisha Thomas, Danny Thomas, Tony Torres, Trina Truewell, Nicole Washington, Jabari Williams and Lloyd Williams each had one new agent recruit for the week of 120 through 126. So huge congratulations to all of you that made it to the leaderboard. And if you have been having conversations about DAC, whether it is our funding or payment processing, customer finance, healthcare, any of our services, or you're talking to people about getting started as a new agency owner with DAC. If you're having conversations and your name's just not on the leaderboard yet, congratulations. I know it's just a matter of time before we too see you in the bright lights on our team Zoom. So I wanna go through a couple of announcement things and then we'll get into some good stuff for tonight. We have, uh, tomorrow is the first Tuesday of the month. Every month, the first Tuesday means that we have a business opportunity presentation that is done in real time, live, presented by our CEO and founder, David Rutz. 
It is always tweaked just a little bit from the last one that you saw. And I understand he's got some great enhancements for this week's presentation. So it's a great time for you to come listen and learn and take notes because the more you see the presentation, the more uh, the business uh, sinks into you and it helps you speak DAC fluently, right? If you're hearing that story over and over again, it really sinks in and helps you be a better presenter as well. So come out tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Don't come alone. You want to invite your guests to come with you. Just reach out, ask your friends or business associates. Hey, I've, I've got something exciting I'd like to share with you. Do you keep your options open for making money outside of what you're currently doing? If they say yes, say great. Uh, can you make it to a live presentation to hear from the founder of a company that's doing some exciting things in the small business world? And then extend that invitation. The link is daczoom.com. You can send it out by text, by email, or through Facebook Messenger. And if you invite early, I would encourage that you go ahead and send out the information, but then send them a reminder text just a few minutes before the 8 p.m. And this is all Eastern time, before 8 p.m. Eastern time to remind them that the Zoom is about to start, okay? If they can't get on, tell them that's okay, no problem. I'll, I'll be able to send you a recorded link after the presentation is completed. And then you can either send them the link that it will be recorded tomorrow night because it'll always be on YouTube, or you can actually send them your partner page where they can watch the pre-recorded version there and then they can click join to get started, okay? Also tomorrow night, following that business opportunity training, uh, our presentation is our 9 p.m. Eastern time, new training. This is, I say new training, this is new funding training. Our, our senior funding director, Wade Cordell, is gonna be going over all about bank statements. He's really gonna do a deep dive, stuff that we don't have to know, but it's always good to know and understand how the funding process works. I think the more you know about how the process works, the better you can be a pro at marketing DAC, right? Because you understand what they're looking for. So Wade is going to take us on a deep dive into the funding business statement process and what our underwriters are looking for when they're looking at bank statements, okay? Uh, so make sure you make, make time to be on that tomorrow night. And if you invite guests to the eight o'clock training, tell them, hey, we're going to be doing a live training afterwards. You can stick around and stay. Now, it might be a little too deep for them because they haven't gone through the basic training, but I think they'll appreciate hearing from our senior funding director. And again, that's at daczoom.com. Okay. Uh, one more announcement, and that is we had this fourth quarter promotion going, and then it got extended into January. And David announced today that we have also extended now. We're going to be doing a month to month extension of it, hopefully for long term. But for now, for the month of February, this will continue. It's the preferred client plan, given working capital from 25000 up to 600000 for preferred industries of construction, and this includes all types of construction, landscaping contractors, which includes electrical, plumbing, uh, retail, jewel, retail, jewelry, clothes, specialty, etc. If they're doing daily sales through a retail location, uh, they, they qualify as a preferred industry. E-commerce stores, medical facilities, accounting, not seasonal, but someone that does monthly accounting and bookkeeping type for clients. Then manufacturing and wholesale. Those are all your preferred industries. And this is going to give them funding up to $600,000. Um, thank you, Orlando Darden. If you're on tonight, Orlando, ask about this today on our leadership Zoom. And David said, yes, absolutely. So this is a great program. Uh, to qualify for the preferred plan, the client needs to be doing at least $35,000 a month in sales each of the last three months. They have to be in business longer span. They have to be in business at least eight months. They have to have a personal FICO of $600 or better and less than six NSFs in the last 30 days and less than five negative banking days in the last 30 days. Now, you don't need to worry about all of those details, okay? I'm just kind of giving you this picture. This is a, a flyer that uh, is posted in the DAC Agent Facebook group. If you want to find it, just go to the group and search preferred client, and you'll find a link over to this. But 
Um, I'm telling you about it because it's a great incentive for you to be promoting it to larger funded clients because they're not going to pay any fees at closing. That means if they get approved for $50,000, they're going to get $50,000 at the closing directly deposited into their account. Today, um, our other funding products have some sort of fee that goes to the lender and those fees get deducted from the proceeds of the funding amount. So with the other funding, if a client got 50,000, they may only receive 46 as their net deposit. But with this, they're gonna get all of it deposited into their account. There's longer terms and higher approval amounts. So just know that this is being extended, okay? All right, so uh, to our testimonial of the week, I don't know if we've got her on here. I believe we do. I've asked Katina Willis to come on. Um, Guys, y'all have seen her on the leaderboard for the past several weeks with recruiting. I know she's only been in the business less than 90 days, okay? And in less than 90 days, she's built a massive team through her recruiting efforts. And she's also had at least two dozen clients. I don't know what has closed out today uh, because I can't see those numbers. I just see what has posted in commissions and what's posted in the back office in volume. So I see you on here, Katina. I'm going to ask you to unmute. And if you're on camera, love to see you on camera too. Yes, I'm on camera. <laughs> hey there, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So glad that you could be on tonight. You know, um, I'm, I'm super excited to have you here and let everybody see you. I know they're hearing your name uh, from the team Zooms as well as David Rutz has recognized you on some of the corporate calls talking about mm -hmm. what Katina is doing, right? Everybody wants to know what Katina is doing, but mm -hmm. I want you to share um, take a few minutes and share whatever you want, but I'd really love to hear what you saw in DAC and tell some of the success stories that you're seeing on funding, whether it is a particular industry or whether it is a particular client or two that, that you've had interaction with that has been able to borrow money from us and it's made an impact in their business. So I'll just let you take the floor. I've been on some of your, I've been watching some of your videos. You're a great presenter and I'm, I'm ready for you to just share a little bit, whatever you want to share from the heart with our team tonight. Okay. Katina, nice. before you get started, um, Ellen, can you take it off a of screen share so we oh, can yeah, actually- Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Harlequin. See, that's why <laughs> you are, you help me succeed every week with this co-host. <laughs> All right, now you've got the spotlight, Katina. I love that All red right. background. That looks great. And your DAC blue looking good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, so yeah, I am newer to DAC and um, I kind of got into it by mistake, I guess I would say, um, just searching for uh, some type of opportunity um, as a result of me opening a mortgage company and things not going well. So I started searching for something else. And so that's where I found Eric, the one who signed me up. Um, but yeah, he, I found him from his YouTube video. And because I'm a YouTube junkie too, I love watching YouTube videos and sharing information on YouTube. So um, I found his video, called him up. He gave me the information and I signed up and I just got to work right away. Um, I'm, I'm used to um, talking to 20 people a day. All right. So in my business in real estate and mortgages, I try to talk to at least 20 people a day to get some full time good results. And so I started that way, but then I just started doing, uh, really doubled down on the videos. When I saw the interaction and realized that nobody was really talking about that, about um, business funding, not a lot of people are talking about business funding. So I just kind of doubled down on it and there we go. <laughs> Closing a couple of, um, of helping, helping a few business owners per week get funded. That's yeah, what's been absolutely. happening. Well, your double down is definitely paying off. So 
what you said about making talking to about 20 people a day were you generating mm -hmm. those leads through social media or what were you doing there initially to get that conversation going before you even got started with DAC because I, I love that story um, as part of your professional background in mm -hmm. real estate and then going into mortgage if you're going to be successful as a business owner you get it's a contact sport right mm -hmm. what were you doing with those contacts and how were you finding those people initially Katina well you know what I'm going to tell you a funny thing is at first I tried to do it exactly how I built my my real estate business and so I would go to um networking events there was a networking event happening in my area and i went to the event and i said oh i'm going to talk to every person walking out the door that's that's how i built my real estate business that was one of the strategies i used so i went there and a lot of people were really interested in what i was saying so i kind of try to have a conversation to see the reaction that's what I try to do at first, just to see if um, it's something people want or just to get their reaction so that I know if I need to keep talking about it or if I need to ask in a different way. So that was initially why I decided to go to this event that was happening in my area. So I talked to, I made sure I talked to like 25 people there and a couple of people, I got their phone numbers, I texted them the link. And um, so I was kind of talking to people in person and on the phone at first, but then I started making videos and I didn't need to do nothing else after I started making the videos, <laughs> that was it. So. I know that's right. Now, for, for those of you on the team that are listening and you're going, okay, I don't have any videos. I don't have, I don't have a following. You had a pretty sizable group with your real estate business, right? And what, what kind of following do you have on social media size wise? Oh, I'm going to be celebrating this week. Cause I'm going to hit 100 K on Facebook alone. <laughs> wow. So anybody Amazing. following me, y'all going to see that. Cause I'm, I'm celebrating. <laughs> But yeah. um, I, I didn't really have, I, I had about maybe um, 5,000 Facebook friends and um, I, I had a sizable following on TikTok when I first started DAC, but a lot of the followers, honestly, on Facebook came from me talking about funding, I think, because that, that, that crowd on Facebook happened within the last four months. Absolutely. So it started happening when I started making videos about mortgage loans and about business loans. So it was the money that brought that following. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you went from 5,000 followers initially, and then you started having the conversations about business funding. But mm -hmm. at one point, you had to decide to get started when you had no followers, right? So right. It, it, it came down to you making a decision that you were going to change that. And I think everybody mm -hmm. here tonight can do the same thing. If, if there's if there's any tip or advice that you could give for those that are listening and part of the organization right now that don't have that established presence, what would you tell them? I, I would say do what you are comfortable with right now and just get really good at it, get better at it don't be afraid to embarrass yourself because we all have to start somewhere i say just do it if you really want something bad just go for it and you will get better as you continue as you do more as you start to see results as you start to see um, and get feedback or to just see interactions from people you will continue to get better so but do what you're comfortable with and I think that's what it's about. Just have fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have fun. And I love that. Take what you're comfortable with and build on it. Get really mm -hmm. good at it. And as you practice and get better at something, you can start building on that as your base um, to really start stretching and, and hit what is uncomfortable. Because I'm sure when you were when you first started doing some of your dancing videos and the things that you're doing and pointing on on TikTok mm -hmm. and everything, that probably was pretty uncomfortable in the beginning, wasn't it? I, you know, I guess I, I started doing the dancing thing on TikTok during COVID when there was like no entertainment and we were all scared to leave the house. So, you know, it, COVID just brought something out of me. 
yeah. like why not? I mean, you know, it was nothing to be afraid of. It, we need, I needed entertainment. <laughs> Absolutely. We know COVID changed my business and my whole outlook here uh, because it really made me take a look at what was going on in my life. And I, I lost my number one source of income, which my, was my limousine business when COVID shut down the travel industry. So um, I get it. COVID um, tweaked either in a really good way or in a bad way, a lot of people. And fortunately, you took advantage of that. So um, before I wrap up with you, um, I would love for you to share anything you want to share, but specifically out of the people that have gotten funded, can you think of a business owner or two? Has any, have any of them shared a testimonial with you on how being able to get this money as quickly as they have through uh, DAC and through you helping them? Um, can mm -hmm. you think of any stories that's really made an impact on a business owner? Mm -hmm. You know, I do have not a large amount of business owners, but a few will, you know, follow up with me and say, thanks for sharing the information. Um, I had one to reach out and say, uh, we couldn't make payroll. So I really did need this. So thank you for sharing the information. Um, I had somebody else reach out and say, um, we, we had hit our slow season. So we needed, we needed some help you know, while we add some additional, they're trying to uh, make some changes in their business. So, and they were at their uh, slow season. So they really did need that help um, as well. So people will reach out and, you know, send me one or two liners, but um, I haven't known, nobody that I've known personally before, you know, but they will reach out and say, thank you for sharing. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, it, it's just a true testament. And you know, you're not talking anybody into taking the funding, right? And for you to be able to get several fundings a week consistently, now that you've got your machine rolling there with all of your promotion, it's just amazing to see your success. I salute you. Um, I appreciate the value that you bring to David Allen Capital as a whole, because you've opened a door that helps create belief in other people, because when they see you doing it, they know that it's possible, right? So right. I salute you, Katina. I appreciate you for sharing tonight. And I'm mm -hmm. super excited that you're on my organization and you're mm -hmm. a big part of seeing that that um, that growth where Harlequin was saying how hard I'm having to work. I'm working to keep up with all the people you're bringing into the team, girl. I love it. <laughs> you know, it's and that's funny. Go ahead. I was going to say, and the funny thing is like, I'm screening people now. I'm like, are you sure you're ready for this? <laughs> because, you know, I'm letting them know, like, you know, it can be fun, but, um, you know, sometimes sales or commission situations are difficult for people. So I kind of give them a hard time now, but <laughs> I think that just gets them on their toes from day one. So I yeah, love it. it. I, I want to help people do exactly what I'm doing. I hope so too. And I'm teasing you. I, I don't mind that. In fact, that's, that's why I, I put systems in place anyway, is to just help be that other resource that people can reach out to. You know, a lot of times I'll, I'll have someone that responds to my email and I'll look to see who their upline is. And I'll say, Hey, Katina's got training for her team. Make sure you're plugging into that. So um, mm -hmm. again, I appreciate you, appreciate you sharing tonight. And I know that uh, everybody listening tonight does as well. So thanks again. We'll Thank you. See you on the next Zoom, okay? All, All right. right. Thank Appreciate you. it. I'm going to get back to the screen share because I got um, a few more things that I want to cover here on where we're going with some new tools, okay? Let me get this back up. And Harlequin, can you see the screen again? Let's see. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, if it'll move forward for me. All right, so we've got some new tools and I wanna point these out. If you've been on David's calls, that's great. You know, we've got some new tools, but let me make sure you know where to find those. And then um, I wanna talk about end of month. Here we are the last day of the month. And do you know whether you're qualified to earn residuals? If you have a team and they are getting funding, are you qualified to earn on those 
uh, clients that they're getting in the residual payment plan part of our longevity. Yeah, we get our day, daily pay from David Allen Capital where David is paying those daily bonuses and weekly override bonuses for funding. But every month on the 15th of the month, longevity cuts a residual check. And I wanna make sure you guys know how to calculate whether you've got money coming or not and make sure that you know what you need to do to be qualified because you can actually get qualified to earn residuals without having any fundings whatsoever. In fact, you could have, uh, you could order nutritional products or you could have our DAC Protect product uh, personally and that could help you qualify for this residual. So I'll go through that in just a minute, but let's go over to the Agent Resource Center and the first tool I wanna to point out is the new document that David has put together showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of Bank Breezy and David Allen, uh, David Allen Capital funding, okay? I'm not gonna go into great detail on this, so you can print on your own, but again, where is that? Well, it's on the Agent Resource Center. If you don't know how to get there, go to the bottom of the David Allen Capital page, uh, there's resources there and a link over to the Agent Resource Center. And under the business capital section, number one is where that PDF document is, okay? So David has uh, a side-by-side -side here of Bank Breezy showing what the funding amount is, uh, same-day funding up to 25 and then up to 2 million on the DAC side. But when you go through training, now this is not a substitute for you going through the funding training, okay? I'll recap here back on the slide that these videos across the top, videos one, two, and three, these are mandatory trainings that you must go through as a new agent, okay? Number one is a basic understanding of how our web links work. Number two is our funding business capital training. And then number three is the comp plan. And there's some uh, a comp plan chart, which we'll go through in a minute, but those are critical for you to watch the training go along with it. And then this reference sheet is just kind of a cheat sheet for you to have in your notebook uh, or on your desk. So somebody asks you a question, you've got a reference to go quickly look it up, okay? Uh, so that's page one and page two. And then uh, page two is what to expect on notifications, right? I get a lot of questions every single week about, hey, where do I see what my clients are doing? Where, where do I track this? Where do I track that? The answers are all on this page, okay? So print it out, make sure you're pointing new people to it so that you guys have access to this on the Bank Breezy and the David Allen Capital, what to expect, when to expect emails, what the communication process is and what to do. It says here at the bottom on this, if you run into a duplicate, what to, what to do. It tells you exactly what to do. So you don't have to reach out to your upline or support anymore asking that question, okay? Use the tools, go through the training, and it's all right there for you, okay? So that's the first tool I want to point out. The second tool, uh oh, let me go through the, go back. It opened again. Ah, close that go to the next slide. The second tool is, if it'll move forward for me, maybe it's not moving. Okay, the next tool is the compensation chart. Okay, when you click on that chart, it's going to open up a PDF of the compensation plan. And this is where I want you to understand are you missing out on money? Like Katina just talked, she's got a lot of frontline agents who are getting fundings. And that means that volume is going into her business, right? But if she didn't have personal volume, she wouldn't be eligible for that residual. So uh, she's gonna be getting an additional check on top of all the commissions that she's earning personally, she's gonna get, and the overrides that she's making, she's gonna be getting an additional check from the funding bonus payout here uh, on the residual side. So let me go into this. I don't know if I can get my screen to get larger or not. Let me see. I'm going to open that with, it doesn't want to get larger for me. Let's see if I can do it here. I don't think I can blow that up. 
there we go. Now we've got it. Okay. We've got large document. Okay. Here we go. Compensation plan on the summary. And here's where you want to watch. Okay. For you to be eligible for residual income off of your team, you have to have personal qualifying volume right here. And on this page, it shows for you to be eligible to earn on levels one and two in your organization, 5% on level one, 5% on level two. And this is if you have a team, you have to have at least 50 personal qualifying volume points. How do you get that? Well, you get a funding, all right? But here we are the last day of the month and today's the last day to qualify for the residual pay plan. So here we are, the 31st of the month, you could either sell a DAC Protect or you could use nutritional products on your own. I order products from David Allen or from Longevity every single month. I take their 90 for Life Liquid Nutrition. It's part of my daily nutritional regimen. I love it. And I can tell a difference when I don't take it. I can really tell a difference in my eyesight. That's the one noticeable aspect that I can see. I can tell the difference in how my vision is clear uh, distance uh, by taking that nutritional product. If I go a couple of days and don't take it, I can definitely feel it with the way my vision feels. So um, that's what I choose to do. I'm just putting this out there because you can sell or purchase those products and get yourself qualified. For example, I went through today with uh, someone on my team that has been busy doing something else and didn't even realize that there was about a $150 commission check coming their way uh, if they just had at least 50 points or at least 100 points personally. Um, then they, they looked at it after we discussed it and go, oh, wow, well, I was going to order this particular product anyway. So they went ahead and ordered that product they were going to get enough residual to pay for that product and then they'll have cash on top of it. So it was essentially they ordered it, got the product for free and then get a check on top of that. So um, understanding the residual part of our comp plan, if you have activity in your team, you're probably missing out on some money. So this chart shows you just these first two positions as an associate and as a brand associate. You can get there without any team activity. Remember when we first started tonight, I said the only way you can get to area director and higher levels in the compensation plan is by having a team that is producing to, and that's required to move through. Same thing when you get to a senior associate or sales associate, um, you have to have a team that is producing, but you can get all the way from associate to brand associate just on your own production in the residual plan. So I'm gonna close this screen out, take the magnifier off and go back over to, I really wanted to go into the back office. I'm gonna stop screen share a minute and see if I can get this screen open that I wanted to open. It wasn't letting me earlier. I'm very um, careful about not sharing private information. And I had created a site to log into that would show you, but I couldn't, I couldn't remember the password for it. So we'll go in here. All right, I'm back on screen share and I will go to We've got the slide, the PDF document, and I have opened up the back office here. So I've logged in to the Longevity back office and I'll show you where you want to go to see what your volume is, okay? For you to go in and check volume, you're going to go in here to my bonus qualifications. And when you click on that link in your back office, if you have team activity under commissions, under my bonus qualifications, it's going to pull up a page that is updated every night at midnight. And the first few lines are, are going to be telling you about your organization. It's going to say, 
you know, how many frontline associates, how many frontline brand associates, essays, et cetera, those first few lines. But um, right under that is going to be a section that tells you what your compressed bonus volume is. That compressed bonus, bonus volume is showing you what you're eligible for your first three levels of your business. So whatever that bonus volume is, let's go back over and look at the comp plan. If you've got 50 in personal volume and you let's say that your compressed bonus volume is uh, 1,500. Let's just use that as an example. So 1,500 in bonus volume, if that's what you had in your compressed first three levels, and you were at the 5%, you would take 1,500 times 5%, and you would have a $75 residual check coming if you were qualified with 50 points, having 1,500 in compressed volume in your team. But if you're over here and you have at least 100 personal points and you're a brand associate, let's use that same example of 1,500, you wanna multiply that times 8% because you're going to get paid 8%, 8%, and then 7% on your first three levels times 8% instead of it being $75 if you're an associate with 50 points. If you're a brand associate with 100 personal points, then it would pay you $120. So 75 if you're qualified with 50 points and $120 if you're qualified with 150. Just on that example of having 1500 points. So um, I wanted to point this out today because it being the end of the month, Longevity will tally up tomorrow and that, that sheet that I just showed you here where you click on my bonus qualifications, it'll be tallied tomorrow morning and it'll show you how you ended up the month of January. But the good news is if it is a product purchase, meaning if it's a Longevity nutritional purchase, they will actually backdate for qualification. So if you, um, if you miss it tonight and you don't have all the points that you need to have earned that residual, you could place an order tomorrow and ask them to backdate it and they would backdate it for January so that you could hit your qualifications for that residual check. Now they won't do that if it's DAC Protect. Our products, the DAC sells, the DAC Protect, um, the Protect Plus the identity, identity protection plans, they can't backdate that because that's an actual start, start date on a service and they can't change the start date on that, but they can start uh, change the start date on nutritional products. So I just encourage you, if you've got activity in your group, you need to look and be aware of that um, bonus qualification tab on your website, look at that compressed volume, and then do the math on it. Multiply it out by 8% and see, you can estimate what your residual check is. And actually under my yeah. earnings tab, it's going to show you what your projected earnings is, but that projected earnings is only going to go off of what your qualification is. So if you don't have 50 points and are qualified as an associate, or you don't have 100 points at least and qualified as a brand associate, then your earnings aren't gonna be reflected accurately there, okay? So I just wanted to cover that. I'm gonna go ahead and Ellen, close that. Ellen, uh -huh. no, before you, before you get off of that page, mm -hmm. um, if, if you can go back onto it for one second. Okay, let me stop screen share, make sure that Sorry. I get to the right page. <laughs> no mishaps on live video. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah let me back up. Let me go back to screen share. Okay. All right, you got it? Yeah, okay. Um, here, I gotta exit full screen so I can see if somebody comes in. Now, if you go to the tab that's next to that, genealogy, mm -hmm. at the very bottom, the volume totals, mm -hmm. that is live. So that gets updated as orders are placed. So that's more up-to-date information. You can also see by leg, by associate, um, you can actually see individual fundings and things like that. And that, so that's another place for people to look if they're right on that border, they can get a little bit more updated information. 
Yeah, and again, I can't show you because it's it's private information here. And if I start clicking on screens, it's going to show yeah. you stuff that's going on in the team that I can't show you. But if you go to my Vimeo channel, I have a YGY and DAC back office tour video where I do take you through that dummy site and I take you through the volume totals and everything that Harlequin was just pointing out. So you can see it in real time um, and have a real good understanding. It's about a 30 minute video, but if you think there's some money on the table, I would encourage you um, to go look that up and watch that video so you can really track where the tracking tools are for you in the back office. Anything else before I shut that one out, Harlequin? Good point. No, that's okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Stuff. The only other comment that I would make on that, you don't need to go back to it, but um, if you have a bunch of people on your team, also take a look and see where your team members are, because you may have a new person who's only a few points away from qualifying for something. So help, help your teammates out. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's what um, what I try to do at the end of the month, every month, is look to see who is close or who is uh, just a few points or one person on their front line away from qualifying for next level. Uh, and actually, I'll record videos sometimes and send them out to those folks that are, are missing out if they just realize that one little tweak and a few extra points there could make a big difference on a commission check or not. So, all right, so we're back off of screen share. I'm gonna open up now and see if we have any questions. Um, looks like the chat activity was pretty busy there. So any questions that need to be addressed in the chat there, Harlequin? Yeah, the only one that was in there really was from Susan Brooks. She was asking about, um, you know, people are being congratulated for as being a new loan specialist in DAC. And, um, you know, I responded to her, it's actually incorrect to say that because there are some states, especially California, where we cannot say that we are a lender or a loan specialist. We have to say we're funding specialists. Right. So um, because you have to be licensed in the state of California to do a business loan, we do an advance or um, is typically what we do, especially in California. Yeah, and, and David talked about that today. Um, a question yes, came up about that. So exactly, good point there, good question. So yeah, that really just keeps you out of hot water, not using the word loan funding. We When I first started as an agent, we were loan brokers and that's how DAC was marketing itself. Um, but that quickly changed mainly because of that California law. So to be able to market in all 50 states without violating any laws. David changed it and instead of calling it business loans, it's business funding, working capital, uh, or business uh, cash advances. So that'll keep you out of hot water, everybody. Okay, we got hand raised here. I see you, Gene. Yeah, well, up. we have one more question and it's okay. super easy. Darren was asking if um, people need a, a login to get to the DAC Zoom and no, you just need to type in daczoom.com in your browser and it will automatically pull up Zoom. Exactly. All right, good question. Thank you. And I have Eugene with his hand raised. I'm gonna ask you to unmute at work. Everybody, how you doing? Hey, Eugene, good to see you. Doing good, good. how are you? I'm doing okay. You know what, I just wanna tell you, Ellen, that you're late. You are late with Katina Willis. Let me tell you, that week when she got 733 people signed up, I sent her a message. I said, look here, give me a call. I got to talk to you. And she called me. And she and I had a conversation. I asked her, I said, what in the hell are you doing to get that? So she told me TikTok videos. And here's the thing that's so funny. First of all, I can't dance. So you know I ain't dancing on the video, right? So we talked. I said, look here. I say, all that stuff, I ain't doing all that dancing stuff. I say, but I guess I'll go ahead and I'll post some videos. I say, and the first ones are probably going to be bad. She said, well, my first one was horrible if you go and look at it. And I didn't see that she did. It was horrible. So she probably said that make me feel good, you know. But I can tell you that, you know, most of my recruiting is done on either Craigslist or other kinds of social media. 
And I never even considered TikTok. I said I would never do TikTok, but let me tell you all this. I started putting videos up on TikTok. Now I've been marketing on Facebook and Instagram for over a year now. I mean, constantly marketing, constantly marketing, and there was some traction there. However, people who would like what I did on Facebook or Instagram actually saw me on TikTok and I started getting more calls about, man, I didn't know you were in business capital. They, they liked what they've seen on other forms of social media. I didn't know you were in business capital. I said, yeah, you, you liked it. Yeah, but I really didn't pay attention. I just liked it because it was you. But they paid attention to the videos that are on TikTok. And the funny thing about it, a lot of the videos I put up there, I share those videos on Instagram and Facebook, but they notice them more on TikTok. And just to give you an update of what's going on with that, on Friday, one of my college cohorts, he's a CEO of a company that helps other businesses. I have a meeting at his place on Friday with five business owners who need funding and other services and I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation for them. So I made the PowerPoint for the business owners. To do that, he saw me on TikTok. I also have a few other people who saw me on TikTok who are asking me about funding. I got a call from a guy somewhere up north late Friday night who saw the video on TikTok and was asking me about funding. And I told him I didn't want to give him too much information. I wanted to wet his beak so he could go ahead and he could apply. So he should be applying sometime this week too. But Katina, I, I got to say that you were right on point with that. You know, I'm, not, I'm still not going to dance like you. And then I ain't as pretty as you, so I ain't going to get to all the views you get. But for all of you who are out there who are looking for a way to get your brand out there, you might want to go ahead and do something like this. David talked about it today. He talked about using all forms, all mediums, all errors that you have in your quiver to go ahead and to bring attention to what you do. And he, he's exactly right. I mean, we have to do it. I, I look at what's going on with the Renegades team. We had a record month in recruiting this month. No, we ain't no Katina Willis, but we had a record month in recruiting this month. And I was happy about that too. So, Katina, thank you so much for having that conversation with me. I want you to know that I did apply some of it. You still ain't going to see me dance. I'm telling you that right now. That ain't happening. But I will continue to make the videos. And I encourage the rest of you all to do a little bit of that as well. And that's all I got. Excellent. Great comments, Eugene. Always appreciate hearing from you. <laughs> I just kind of want to see you dance, though. You know, you cracked me up the day that you put on your glasses when you were congratulating. Well, Jason. now, now that I will do, but you ain't been to see me dance. That ain't happening. So you ain't <laughs> know. No, you know, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we've got Eric Brooks with his hand up. What do you have for us, Eric? Hey, Ellen, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, thanks awesome. for asking. Hey, I had a um, well, kind of a well, a comment and a question. First off, um, just what Eugene said, I'm, I'm the same way. You know, I'm a bald headed guy, you know, older guy. I don't want to, I don't dance, <laughs> but I was kind of scared to use TikTok because I'm like, well, that's for the younger folks. I mean, I'm not too old, but I'm in my 40s. I'm like, yeah, that might not be for me. But I mean, that's positive to actually hear that from somebody around my age that's actually, you know, doing utilizing that. But I had a question for Eugene after I asked my second question. Because I did see, well, I did hear that he said that he um, he actually advertised on Facebook and IG. And I wanted to find out, does he use the advertising feature on TikTok or does he just make regular videos like everybody else to actually get his brand out there? Ellen, can I answer that? Yeah, absolutely. I was going to ask you to. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't pay for anything like that. I am a cheapskate. No, I'm not going to pay for any ads. <laughs> I just use the regular advertising. You know, I make the video on Instagram, I upload it. I make the videos and then I upload them on Facebook. I do advertisements and that's all I do. I, I, don't, I don't do any kind of paid advertisement like that. The only thing I will pay and advertise for is I'll go in Craigslist and I'll go in the gig section 
and I advertised and I pretty much built my DAC team through Craigslist. And right now we're approaching 700 on the team. So that, that's the only paid advertising I do. Okay, now, thank you. I appreciate that. I see Katina is still on here. Katina, are you doing any paid advertising or you're just letting TikTok work your magic? Let me ask you to unmute. Never. I would never. Well, you know what? I, I've never done any um, paid advertising at all. But that is the beauty about TikTok, right? Is that most people still think it's for kids. And what's happening on TikTok is that the people who are there for business are making a killing. Because a lot of people, I want to say over 40, think that it's just kids and it's just dancing, but the people who are promoting products and businesses, they're making a killing on TikTok because they're getting viewed by a lot of people and people are buying. People are buying, they're entering that credit card, they're signing up. Trust me. <laughs> Trust yeah. me. Excellent. I'm glad you gave me that information. Now I feel a little bit better because I thought the same thing. I was like, eh, that might be for kids because my cousins and, you know, my friends' children, they're all like on that. I'm like, I'm not getting on there. Like that's, you know, I'm out, I'm aged out of that. But now that I know that it is, you can utilize the business. Um, and like you said, like the competition level for business is not saturated yet because most right. people are like, hi. Right. <laughs> You're but exactly you're exactly right. And those algorithms, they somehow can tell how old you are and what you're interested in. So you won't even see the kids. Once you get on there and you enter your details, you won't see the kids. You'll see things that you're interested in. And then they'll start showing you to the people you're targeting. Oh, cool. Okay. I got you. Excellent. I definitely utilize that now. Thank you, Katina. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Katina. And thanks for the question, Eric. You know, oh. this really dates me, but those of you that remember MySpace, right? How <laughs> MySpace was the hot thing and then Facebook came along. And in the beginning, it was that younger generation that was on Facebook, but business owners realized that they could start advertising on Facebook because of their algorithms, because they have all of this personal information and they do what you just mentioned, Katina, which is uh, categorize. And when you do Facebook ads, you can go in and say you're looking for business owners and the age brackets and where they live and all of that. So um, looks like TikTok is doing the same thing at a totally new level from Facebook. And those first movers like yourself have an advantage there. So jump on the bandwagon. I, I've got to start watching your videos and, and learn from you so that I can start doing that. I'm in front of the Definitely. camera, but I'm not doing it in front of the right camera, obviously. So. <laughs> and I have a question before I go. Sure. Um, now I have a potential client. He just, I just talked to him earlier today and he's in the construction business. And I sent you a text message earlier, but I like I know that you were getting busy for you know the training and everything. So you probably didn't get a chance to get back in contact with me. But he was more interested in the customer financing product. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he's in construction. He sells heavy equipment like bulldozers, like loaders and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know, can he utilize the customer financing product for his customers that wanna buy the bulldozers and loaders, would they be able to qualify for those type of things? Um, there, there's a limited use on that. Our customer finance product is a signature, no collateral loan. And it is a loan because you're that, that customer finance platform, depending on the industry, we have multiple platforms for different industries. So depending on the industry, they're going to be given a particular platform by our funding team or our finance team. And that platform may have uh, five different lenders that the customer's information goes out to to shop for the best offer, right? But when the client applies, Eric, they're just going to go through, put in some basic information, their name, address, social security number. They're going to pull a soft credit pool, and then they're going to come back and give them offers on that particular dollar amount or what their purchase is. And then the client can accept that and say, yeah, I want this one. It's better terms, longer terms, monthly payment, and all of that. 
Um, but I would think on, and, and this was addressed today on David's call too, about purchasing autos. When a client has an opportunity to purchase something that the item they're purchasing, like heavy equipment, could be used as collateral, they're probably going, going to get a better rate on that by using a collateralized loan, such as a auto loan or the heavy equipment loan. But where our financing might come in handy on automobiles or heavy equipment or something of that nature is, if there's a large down payment required and the client doesn't have the down payment, then they could use their customer finance product for that personal loan that's gonna give them the quick cash to meet that $5,000 or $10,000 down payment that they need to make on that big expensive piece of equipment. So that would be the, the fit there, but not for the purchase of the equipment itself in most cases. There might be an exception and you can always reach out to our customer finance team. If you search the group for enable, you're going to, um, Joanne is usually the one that handles all of that, um, but search enable, E-N-A-B-L-E, at uh, in our DAC agent Facebook group, and you'll see messages there. You can either message her or you'll see her email address where you can send her a direct email and she'll get right back with you on platforms that might work for that particular client. So yeah, and you're right, I was getting ready for this. I think I have about 30 unopened text messages at this point or right <laughs> before we came on to the call, so. <laughs> So you said that's Enable. That's the name of the yeah, company. Enable. E N A B L E. That's our customer finance team. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Great question. Thank you for your questions and interaction there. All right. Anybody else before we wrap up, guys? Anything else there that I'm missing, Harlequin? Actually, I'm going to share a couple of things because um, okay. I've been doing some training um, on social media through Eric Worre. And one of the speakers that came on, um, she said the fastest growing group in TikTok right now is between 38 and 52 years old. Nice. So it is an older group that is growing fastest in TikTok. But to give you a feel for something that um, can be done on there, this particular individual, um, now this was from earlier, in the month, for the month of December, she had $400,000 in personal sales for the month of December. Her team had done 13 million, but um, for, I think this was about two or three weeks into the month, she had already recruited 100 distributors, had 400 to 500 customers and 25,000 in trial sales. And that was a product-based new network marketing company, yes. right? Yes, yes, I was like, just so, about to say that. She and on she, those recruiting numbers, real quick, on those recruiting numbers, a hundred new recruits. Those recruits would have to be paying and buying a product package to get started with the company. That's what I was going to say yes. So yeah, yeah. So it's a different it, a different model, but it gives you a feel for what can be accomplished if you go and do that. Now, in her case, she spends about eight and a half hours a day between Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So I don't think a lot of us are wanting to commit to quite that much, but I would be happy with even a portion of that. Well, I guess it depends on how much money you want to make as to how much time you're willing to commit to it, right? Yeah. Awesome. But, great, great stats. Thanks for that contribution. Did you have something else? No, I think that's going to do it. Actually, okay. we've got um, we've got somebody else with their hand up. Okay. And I don't Let's know see. if Eric, Eric is your hand still up from before. Or did you raise it again? I don't think I lowered it. No, that was I from before. Oh, yep. go ahead. that was from before. Okay. Yes. All right. I have Miss Red, Miss Johnson. What do you have for us tonight? How y'all doing tonight? I appreciate everything y'all bring to the table. Excellent. Okay, so um, my question was, I'm, I'm driving, so I was kind of uh, listening when I could because sometimes it was buffering out, but the part that you were talking about the medicine or not, not the medicine, but the product that you were using, I can find that in the back office, correct? You as can. far as the reason wise? Yeah, it's, it's uh, the liquid 90 for life 
nutrition, the tangy, tangy tangerine is the okay. liquid that I take. It's, it's an awesome supplement. And um, for those of you that don't know, the founder of Longevity um, wrote a, a seminar or he, he gave a seminar and it turned into an audio and then to a book. It's called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And he talks about how doc medicine, medical doctors die at an early age because they're not taught nutrition and they're not taking the proper nutrition. So he, he created this product from, for us from his experience as a veterinarian, many, many years as a veterinarian and treating diseases in cattle and other animals. And he actually discovered uh, a cure for disease by working with chimpanzees here in Atlanta at the Yerkes uh, Center. So his background is tremendous and the nutritional supplements that he comes up with or came up with and created were from his proven experience in the lab, treating animals and finding cures for them. And you know, they do Medi medical treatments on mice and rats and um, all of these other animals because their biology and chemistry is so similar to humans so he knows what he's teaching and we've got some phenomenal supplements but the one that I take is that 90 for life tangy tangerine liquid supplement they make it in a powder and different forms whatever works for your lifestyle I like the liquid it's easy and I work from home so I've always got it here but the powder if you're on the go a lot that powder might be a good solution for you. You can put it in water, shake it up, and take it on the go. So thanks for okay. the question. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I do the liquid. I'll look back there. Thank you. And then I'll, uh, I'm going to have to go because I'm driving, but I listen to the replay, you know. Once yeah, we'll you be safe on the road. Replay. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the question. question. All right. You later. All right. Ellen, I forgot one last thing, and David has something in the Facebook group about this. This week is Identity Theft Awareness Week, which is a great way to go and promote our identity theft coverage. Yeah, it is. You know, I had, um, I own a limousine company and I had to send 1099s out by today, according to the IRS, to anyone that I paid over $600. So I sent quite a few of those out. And one of the young men that had done a good bit of work for me last year, he, he didn't want to give me an, he gave me an EIN number. He applied for an EIN number so he didn't have to share a social security number. He's like, I don't give my social security number to anyone. I didn't have time at the moment to go through, but I can uh, assure you that I'll be sharing our identity theft protection with him and why he needs that. And then he didn't, wouldn't have to worry about sharing his social security number. Um, before we wrap up, I wanna go back to something that, that Eugene brought, um, brought to the table about what David said today. And that is using all of the skills that you have and all of the different reach out methods you know in our product video in our training video number two under the big green two our product training we talk about how to how to market through the drop cards which david said used to be our social media right doing drop cards the emails getting names off of billboards or trucks as you're going down the road reaching out to people via text message by phone call Whatever method is comfortable for you as a starting point, start there and build on that and then start getting into those uncomfortable places like Katina was talking about. Start with what you know and then venture into the unknown. But I think if you start with what you know and start building your confidence with having those conversations with business owners to begin with, then that helps you branch into those other areas. But I encourage you when you're marketing yourself to put yourself out there with a means for people to contact you and not just be the one that's just putting a web link out. Um, Katina says she had 20 conversations a day, right? Conversations that's back and forth with someone, whether it be through messenger, through text message or through a phone call. But the more two-way conversations you have, the more fluent you're going to become at talking about our products and talking about our opportunity and just being a pro here rather than just expecting everyone to go to your website and letting the website do all the work for you. 
we would love for it to be that easy, but if that were the case, then we wouldn't need an independent agent army, right? We wouldn't need you in the middle here reaching out to those people that you have relationships with. So build on what you have, take it to another level and start doing what's uncomfortable. I know I will be um, as I start venturing into some new things in the social media platform. So I look forward to seeing you guys out there too. Anything else before we wrap up? Last chance, going, going, gone. All right, good seeing you guys on camera. Quite a few of you live tonight. I love seeing your faces. Many of you I talk to or text back and forth with. This is always a great uh, platform to be able to see you in person. So good seeing you guys tonight. Appreciate your time and attention. And we'll see you tomorrow night, eight o'clock, business opportunity presentation, nine o'clock training, going through the business statements. Uh, bank statements with Wade Cordell. Both of those will be at daczoom.com. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you.